Hello and welcome to Remotes Remade. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the master remote. This is the latest remote from Remotes Remade, which was made for you guys to be able to control your devices, even if the manufacturer has stopped producing spares. So this remote is really, really powerful because it's a master remote. Master means it controls every remote in that specific range. So, for example, if you have a general electric device or a Duraflame device, you can now control your device with this remote. To get started, simply remove the plastic battery separator by pulling it out just like that. Then all you need to do is test it by pressing one of the power buttons. In all the remotes you have two power buttons. Try the red one first. You will see it will flash. If it flashes it means the remote is working properly. If it doesn't work for you or malfunctions in any way, you needn't worry. You can fix it by pressing and holding the select button on the bottom of the screen of the remote. It says fan on it, fan OSC. Press and hold that button until the LED blinks three times. One, two, three. That's it. Once it blinks three times, you can start programming this remote to your specific device. Usually you won't have to do this, but if you find you're having problems, Go and do that so you get the three flashes, then press the search button. If you press the search button for about 5 or 10 seconds, you'll see this light stays on. If this light stays on, you're in search mode. Search mode is very powerful. Each time you press the select button, you will, the remote will send one of the signals inside the remote. The remote has a total of 16 signals maximum, so press select and it will send the first signal, second signal, third signal, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And notice how the LED blinks differently when you reach the final signal. Did you see that? That was a different flash. That means you've reached all 15 signals. If you've gone through the 15 and your device beeped or reacted to one of them, press the set button to finish and then the light will go off. If your device didn't react to all of those codes, then press, then, then you need to do the following. Press the, again, the same thing. Let's go back into that mode. Press and hold the search button so that the light stays on. Now, press the select button once. You've changed now to remote number two. Now test some of the, some of the keys to see if the device reacts. If it doesn't, press the select button again to go to code number two. Then check some of the keys to see if it works. If it doesn't, press the select button again to go to the next device. Remember, there's only 15 devices or 16 installed in here. Once you find your remote, it will be saved in here forever. I hope these instructions weren't too complicated. In most cases, all you'll need to do is just pull out the battery separator and you're good to go. If that doesn't work for you, then you'll follow these instructions as explained before. There's one way to really have the remote always work, is to press and hold the select button until you have it blink five times altogether, and that's it. In most cases, that will solve any problems. Thank you for watching this video. This was Remotes Remade, trying to solve all of your remote problems. If you bought this on Amazon, we will highly, highly appreciate a five-star review so that we can let other clients in the world know that this remote will help them solve their problem. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Daniel and bye for now.